All right, guys, welcome back to another Ram Charger episode. I may look dirty, I can't really tell on the camera. That's because we've already been working because today we're gonna pull the engine, transmission, transfer case, everything out of the Ram Charger. So dad, tell me what you've done. So uh, first thing I did was I drained the oil out of the transmission uh, and put the pan back together to, to make sure everything's protected on the throttle body. And then uh, we've been disconnecting all the wiring, anything that's still hooked up to the engine uh, any vacuum hoses, vacuum lines, we're just disconnecting everything so we can pull this out easily uh, together with a transfer case and the transmission. Uh, and you and I both work together on the linkage, so that's disconnected. And I'll just uh, disconnect one more wire here that I had uh, missed on and we should be good. Yep. I told you guys he liked working on it. So. Basically, I'm gonna go down there, finish that linkage, and then we're gonna hit it and pull out this engine and transmission and get to resealing it. So, let's get to it. Let me tell you, this is the first time that I ever pulled an engine, transmission, and transfer case out of anything at the same time but it actually went pretty smooth so i'm pleased about that now we're not working on the ram charger like every single day but when we do work on it we get a lot done as you can see this thing is completely stripped at least on this end so that's going to wrap up today's work and uh, we're just going to continue with the build see you next time actually just want to show <laughs> there's so many of these mud dauber nests all throughout the entire engine so you get right up in here uh, there's one right up in there in the crank uh, but just all over now I can tell that this water pump was replaced before you can see by all the silicone that they used previously uh, like I said I'm gonna leave the water pump on before I degrease everything and take that off so yeah just want to show you guys the secret treasures that are all over this thing all right, sun's out, it's nice and hot. I'm actually about to blow off the engine with some compressed air. Let's get all this loose dirt and stuff out before I hit it with some degrees and actually start spraying it uh, with some water and stuff. Again, I'm not really too worried about the intake manifold or the valve covers because I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepped the right way and painted and or replaced depending on how bad it is over at RMS. Same thing, water pump, not too worried. We're just trying to get this excessive dirt and grime out. As you can see, with a brush, look at all this dirt that was caked up up behind here you can see the freeze plug right there shot and just more dirt 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 and dirt so let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up oh my God. all right guys if you look at the driveway here it's not rust it's actually red dirt the truck was in arizona and they kept filling it up with water and it's got that red dirt in it which is also why all these bolts and everything is rusted out. The same thing with these freeze plugs. This one just poked it with a screwdriver and it just went right through and then there was a pile of mud right here. It's just red dirt. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to clean all that out right now. Are you gonna hit this one out there? Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and knock that one. That one out. There you go, nice. Remove. There you go. Nice. Not as bad until I, until I hit it with the hose. Yeah. So, rust it out. You ready? Yeah. So you can't put water in these engines. Can't put water any in engines. any engine, yeah. <laughs> you can see I got most of it cleaned up before I hit it with the degreaser and the brush. I'm just trying to rinse the inside of it out right now, so let me keep doing that. All right guys, been a few hours and I completely degreased the engine. Now it doesn't look, doesn't look sharp, but it looks better than it did. Uh, so basically I got most of the heavy grease off so I can take these parts to RMS and then really hit them with the sandblast, put them in the solvent tank and get them super cleaned up so then I can basically refurbish them because some of the stuff I really don't want to buy, right? So check it out, here's the engine. You can see all the paint is chipping. It's not greasy, it's nice and dry. It's even squeaking, that's how good I cleaned it. Again, water pump, didn't really care for that, but timing cover, definitely got most of that stuff off. This is just some kind of gasket that I couldn't get off, but most of everything is done. Gonna focus too much on the intake manifold, as you can see, 
it's still super dirty up in here but that's going to go into the solvent tank so i can clean that up real nice did go ahead and pull all of the uh freeze plugs except i just noticed this one he got lucky but it's still kind of dirty in there so i do gotta, gotta keep on cleaning that stuff out still need to extract these broken studs out of the head uh, luckily they're not broken flush so with some heat maybe weld the nut up the end should be able to get those out i'm just going to go ahead and extract this one as well because why not okay so aside from working on this engine and separating it have been getting some parts to get this thing up and running right so we do have a transgo ship kit for the transmission and that's the next thing to get hit with the greaser and get all cleaned up but here that is transgo performance kit so going to use that to sorry about the lines here these led lights do that so that's going to be nice the other thing was that this door has a hit in it so i went ahead and got another door only thing is this isn't a power window door it's a manual window door so we're gonna have to do some modifications to get this door to fit on our ram charger if you guys notice this ugly rear bumper um, that's not the sport bumper don't mind that that's not the sport bumper but we do have a sport bumper right behind the bird bath hood so as you guys can see i'm working hard on getting some of these extra rare parts so this bird bath hood just needs to be clean primered and painted so we're going to go ahead and get rid of our other hood because we do have holes in it uh, the last thing we need for this hood to work is actually the cow and we're working on getting that so this is actually the first project that i'm working on pretty quickly specifically because i'm using rented space right and luckily my dad comes out here and he helps me out every once in a while but for the most part i'm as far as i'm gonna get today i think pretty much as far as we're gonna get in today's video the next video though we will be at the resto mod shop because we will be prepping and painting all these parts and sealing this engine and of course we're gonna paint the engine too and let me know we're debating should we go hemi orange or keep it true to its generation and keep it this mopar blue let me know in the comments below but all right guys that's gonna wrap up this video hopefully you're enjoying the ram charger build series we're moving along as fast as we possibly can if you're wondering about the challenger we've got some updates coming on the challenger next weekend of course if you guys like these videos hit that like button leave a comment below until next time peace out because i need to clean this garage